two, one! Whoa! What the fuck? Jason, your Jason, your mom's squirting. Uh, <laughs> Jason, Jason, you do not look good. Uh, you look like if Gabriel, uh, if Gabriel and Iglesias uh, started going by sweaty instead of fluffy. Uh, the only thing fluffy is the hair on your ass. Look. <laughs> When I met Bob, I couldn't tell if he read Harry Potter, grew up at clan meetings, or both, which is why his name on my phone is Grand Wizard. But mostly because he gave his girlfriend Hogwarts. I just gave her a little Snape Snape. Ah. Uh, uh, he reminded me a lot of the kid from Modern Family if he gave creepy back rubs. Yes. Well, you look like you complain for foreplay. Uh, that's a comeback, not a roast. Here's roast number two. Bob gives off, I got molested by my priest while my uncle waited for his turn vibes. He also constantly talks about the sex he's having so people can stop thinking he's a gay virgin. This just, this whole thing just feels like summer camp to me, like it's warm out, I'm with my friends, I'm roasting a marshmallow. <laughs> Bob sits down to pee. Uh, I want to sit to down after you go upstairs. I want to be sincere for a second. We've been doing comedy for almost about the same time. Lots of similarities. For example, I've performed in five countries in two languages, while Bob has performed in uh, or arrested in five different counties in Illinois. <laughs> while slurring his speech in English, they I call it a I'm not done, bitch. I have performed. States and lots of stages while Bob has been through many states and stages of depression and denial and I've opened for a lot of cool people the only person you opened for was your girlfriend and that was the door on a Saturday night at the Lincoln Lodge in Chicago and also I have a car because I do comedy well and you have a public transit pass I drove here but I don't own the car Look. <laughs> Hurts, ladies and gentlemen, what a perfect commercial. <laughs> Look guys, uh, Jason's Colombian, uh, so he's not actually fat. He just has a 300 pound condom of cocaine in his ass. Nice. Uh, I am Colombian, so I appreciate him doing the, the research. I'm used to dark roasts. I'm also Colombian, and Bob, you owe me $700, $700. My product is top white shelf, like top shelf white, unlike your girlfriend. Bob's girlfriend is Jewish, which means before he met her, women were passing over on him until he found one that celebrated Passover. Look, I am, all right. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys have heard of Dora the Explorer, right? That show? If you watch closely, he's actually in the next season of it. He, he plays her uncle, Ernesto the Molesto. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I feel like the only reason Bob would ever build the wall is because he's into glory holes. <laughs> Make sure to tip American, bitch. How many got? How many we got? That was five. Okay. It wasn't, but let's go. Uh, <laughs> listen, you are perfectly round and you're constantly eating. Yep. You're like Pac-Man if he was being chased by immigration. <laughs> You also look like you put a lot of balls in your mouth. Uh, let's, I want to compliment him. I want to compliment him. Bob, speaking of food, Bob knows how to cook. He makes really good Indian food. With a face that screams butter boy, you best believe he can throw down some butter chicken. I can't believe it's not butter. More like I can't believe he hasn't raped a minor yet. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I'm having a hard time concentrating with that shirt. You look... You look like, um, <laughs> you look like Hawaii 500 pounds. <laughs> nice. You look like you call mashed potatoes Irish guacamole. <laughs> also, Bob Keen is gonna end up in a retirement frat home. He also looks like he'd bring Frank, uh, Fig Newtons to a frat party and call them Fag Newtons because he's edgy. <laughs> All right, give it up for them, everybody. Keep it going. Oh, my God. Oh, man, Bob. That was, Bob, that was a great roast, Jason. That was a great book report. That was so cool. Whoo, man.
man, whatever Wikipedia you were reading that whole time, I want to take a gander after the show. Claire, first one. Okay, uh, Jason, you remind me of an uncle who'd show me like what salsa is, you know? Uh, Bob, you remind me of an uncle who'd show me what a chode is. Okay. Um, I gotta say, I think Bob was a little bit more uh, concise and consistent, and I really liked that marshmallow joke. So I'm giving it to Bob King. Bob King gets a vote. Give it up for him. A little more. This is all he has, everybody. This is it. He doesn't have a trick to Okay. Kevin. Uh, give it up for the, the creepiest dude to ever wear a tracksuit of all fucking time. And uh, Moana comes to life right over there. Here we go. The live version. There we go. Uh, uh, I, I, I really enjoyed Jason. I enjoyed uh, reading a paragraph from him every four minutes. Uh, but I enjoyed it. It was fun. But I thought Bob got you know, just the conciseness that, that Claire was talking about. I'm going Bob. Okay, two for Bob. Give it up for him. Yeah. <laughs> I truly have no idea what the fuck either of you said. It was like it was like the drunk at the bar somehow got in a fight with a coked up line cook. Like it didn't make any sense. I don't get yeah, right now, right? Yeah, which is which? Go ahead, pick your poison. I I I truly don't have an authentic vote for you. Um, but I I can't remember a thing Jason rambled off. So uh, it's gonna be Bob. I'm gonna Bob wins the battle, everybody. Give it up for. Nice. Leo. Well, uh, so, well, Jason, I feel like, you know, I also like your shirt. So, you look like a weekend at Bernie's turned into a decade. <laughs> and Bob looks like he lives off settlement money from suing a Taco Bell. <laughs> but, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to vote for Bob. For uh, his punchlines were just there. Unfortunately, Bob gets another vote. Give it up. Final, final thoughts from Matt Bamber. Uh, that was a fun battle. Bob looks like a proud boy, but Jason's dressed like one. That's... All right. I love the skulls on your shirt. What are you celebrating? Day of the Deadbeat? That's... <laughs> oh, man. Bob looks like a Border Patrol agent. He looks like the guy who would snitch on the rest of his party. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun, dude. It's a fun battle between two different kinds of mechanics, you know? <laughs> one charges a full price, the other one gives you a deal. <laughs> oh, again, yeah, who took your switch? catalytic converter? Shit, that's my uncle's work. <laughs> I don't think it was a clean sweep, just to be nice. I'm gonna give one vote for Jason. I thought he did good. I'll give it one vote to Jason. Jason gets a vote. One more time for these two animals. Give it up.